cursor is now unlimited across all plans and the reason i am saying across all plans is because they have now introduced a new plan which is 200 dollars a month so why do they have two different paid plans when both of them are unlimited because it's not truly unlimited there's a catch so in this video i have a lot of different thoughts that i want to share with you regarding the unlimited the true nature of unlimited in these ai applications and what i think about the trend of moving to 200 dollar plans so yeah let's get started all right so first of all i am going to show you the cursor pricing page the newer pricing page so here we have the hobby plan which is free which basically there is nothing you can get here like I do, i'm pretty sure there are like 10 messages and then it just runs out and then pro plan which is the original plan which everybody loved and used for all this time and uh, it has now unlimited agent requests previously it used to have 500 pass fast requests and later it used to switch to a slow request mode so you used to still have unlimited request it just used to stream in slow or you need to have to wait in a queue so yeah unlimited tab completion everything is just fine and there's new features like they have background agents now and bug bot that's not what we are going to talk about in this video we are going to talk about the unlimited agent requests recently cursor raised 900 million i guess and you could just brush it off saying that maybe this is the way to grow more and beat copilot and cloud code and windsurf to gain the lead so it might make sense to you but then you see this ultra 200 dollar plan it says 20x usage on all open ai cloud gemini models so you are you trying to tell me that you are multiplying 20 to unlimited so am i getting unlimited into 20 agent requests what what's happening here <laughs> this is funny okay so if we go if we go to this question mark it says usage limits apply for some models now they aren't even telling me what models but i can assume it's probably cloud models because let's be fair those are the only models that are really good for coding but where is the transparency i used to like the older pricing where they used to just give you 500 requests and by the way you can still switch to that i don't know how longer they are going to keep it like that but if you can see this unlimited here previously they used to be how much request you have used i haven't been coding lately so the numbers are very down right now but if you go to settings and if you go to advanced account settings yeah uh, you can now see opt out of new pricing and you can just do that I'm not doing this right now because I don't know if it's reversible or not. So I'm gonna wait for some time. I'm gonna make this video and then I'm gonna try to do this. But um, I really don't like where this is going to be honest because uh, they have absolutely no communication on their Twitter account where they usually make announcements. There's no communication about that. If we go to their blog, they have this introducing the ultra plan. We are excited to roll out an option to purchase Ultra, a $200 month plan with 20x more usage than Pro. First of all, let me get started about $200 month plans. When did it become cool to just make random $200 month plans when it's not even clear how much you are gonna get? The biggest culprit and the first one to do this was ChatGPT. So ChatGPT used to have a plus plan like it used to be it, it, it still is $20 a month you never know what the rate limit is previously they used to post the rate limits of chat GPT that hey these are the uh, these are the messages you can send in one hour and then you are probably gonna get rate limited so they don't have that anymore they say limit supply but there is no mention of any kind of rate limit there but then you have this pro plan which is $200 a month which is unlimited truly unlimited I have seen people getting banned because they use it a lot more maybe because they are abusing it but I don't know I have seen a lot of Twitter posts on that but what is this like you are charging $200 a month from a user okay let's be fair that user is probably a power user but you are not telling what the exact benefit is okay in, chat, in the case of chat GPT it's clear that it's unlimited but let's go back to cursor you are literally telling me that uh okay where is it exactly uh cursor.com slash pricing no pricing okay so you are telling me that i'm gonna get unlimited agent request in pro plan and 20x unlimited request in ultra make that make sense for me like what is this and one 
another big company that did it believe it or not i just don't like to get into the drama but it's versal i used to hate this all the time i used to like v0 a lot i even considered purchasing a pro subscription for it or premium or whatever it's called i think it's the first paid plan uh the premium plan so the problem with v0 was they didn't have any limits in free plan i guess you used to get like 3 to 4 messages per day which is very easy to count but then in premium it just said 10 to 20x more messages than free what do you mean i am paying you 20 dollars a month at least be clear about what you are trying to do please please don't make it cool to just ask for money and not be clear about what you are going to give please that's not cool to be fair versal changed that so if we go to v0 pricing the newest one uh, we should be able to see the now it is based on tokens so they have their own v0 models now they don't uh, i don't know if they are like delegating it to different models behind the scenes but now you know that you have 20 dollars and you can use as much as you want uh, as long as like you are within that token limit you when you exhaust your 20 dollars you are out so you can send unlimited number of request it just needs to be like uh, you do not exhaust your 20 dollars and you can top up your 20 dollar however you want in the dashboard this is good pricing and i'm pretty sure they have yeah they do also have pricing for their models so it's a uh, input tokens and output tokens it's pretty transparent now so i have to give it to versal they fixed their problems cursor on the other hand they didn't have a problem they <laughs> they gave you 500 free requests they had a good max plan and then it switched to slow requests everything was pretty clear and you could switch into usage based limits now if you turn on usage based limits you have no idea when it's going to switch to usage based limits there is a lot of confusion in the community they haven't even made an announcement post yet and it's just frustrating going back to this post while the vast majority of cursor users were well served with the pro plan this charge was this change was highly requested by power users seeking more predictability than usage based pricing would offer i i completely disagree this is more unpredictable to be honest like i don't like these new plans i mean ultra is definitely for power user you might definitely not hit the limit but yeah now we are also happy to report that we are rolling out changes this week to make our pro plan more generous by default the pro plan will now follow an unlimited with rate limits model and all limits on tool calls will be lifted so by the way like the 25 tool calls i think that's going to be lifted so one request can do as many tool calls as the model wants existing users can choose to stay with 500 request limit if method if they prefer so i am reading this uh, most likely it's like when you are done with your billing period if you are an annual if the billing period is done you are done you are probably cannot go back to 500 uh request limit method but i don't like where what this is going for so with 500 request limit for example if i had to like make 300 request 300 requests in just one hour if i wanted to do that i could do that I don't know if I can do that in unlimited. What's the deal with rate limits here? Can you not make it more like I I honestly see this as a downgrade. I like if Curse's team is watching this video, if you have some points which could clarify. If I'm saying something wrong, if I'm missing something, please like go into my comment section, try to contact me on Twitter or something, but like uh, this is I don't like this at all. Like this does not make any sense. Now then there is there are reddit posts of course these are speculations i had tried to verify this but i unfortunately couldn't it says cursor pro user can now use opus 4 unlimited opus 4 is a max only model in cursor so it says that you can use that unlimited but when i went to cursor my cursor is up to date it still says that it's a max model and it's still going to cost me usage based so uh, per per token basically so i don't know like it says not seeing this some people will say that they are seeing this some people will say that they are not seeing this which is pretty bad you know i don't think that they are really going into the right direction unless they make it more transparent on what the rate limits actually are at least don't don't just ask for money and don't like don't just ask for money and just ghost us 
with the transparency don't like like at least give us the limits give us a specific limit that hey in one hour you are able to send like 50 messages or 100 messages at least do that like what what's 20x of unlimited hey cursor no this not working hold on hey cursor what is 20x of unlimited please tell me that okay i'm kidding i know that they are probably going to like increase the rate limits for the person who is on 200 dollar plan but i live in a country like india it's not that easy to pay for 200 dollar subscriptions uh for like anyone here so in india if you try to buy a 200 dollar month subscription you are going to ask questions you are going to ask for complete transparency and these people don't have this i don't know like maybe in people in the us I, I imagine that people are asking for transparency but like who told you this is a very good idea i don't know like uh, can you please like try to clarify this i i okay in all honesty i love cursor cursor is my favorite id i have tried windsurf before and i absolutely hated the experience cursor please please fix this i i do not know what i'm gonna do without cursor and if this just keeps going on and if this rate limit thing like i know that somehow this might be a way for you to, to just throttle and make the pro plan less valuable than it was before but at least make it just transparent like at this point like users deserve transparency and the more transparent you are the more they can plan and the more they can give you money so yeah that's it for this video uh if you have more thoughts about the curse new cursor pricing just leave those in the comments below or if you know something that i don't know maybe i missed something just leave that in the comments as well i'm seeing a lot of mixed reports about like the local limits and the burst limits i don't even know what that means i cannot even find any resources for those but if you know something just leave that in the comments below and uh, yeah go hit the like button hit the subscribe button whatever you want to do and i'll see you guys in the next one bye